Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian, coming at you with another shave. Feeling good about this one. This is a first impressions one. You know, we did some unboxing, so we got some new soaps to show you. And the first soap we're going to be showing you out of those, well, I take that back. This is the second soap out of the round of unboxing. Third, third. Look at me. I just need to shut up and just say, introduce the freaking soap, right? So we are using Noble Otter Jack. This is from their card series, I believe they call it. Awesome, awesome soap base. If you can see the ingredients right there. Pause the camera or pause the video if you'd like. And we also have the scent notes. I will put them right there. Lemon, lime, juniper, berry, spice, mint, gin, elemi, and musk. So they're using this elemi note quite a bit, it seems like, lately. Um, I will put up what it's supposed to smell like, and then will come a little thing of what it actually is. But this is a nice kind of sweet, citrusy scent, kind of like sweet tart. And uh, I whipped it up in the HCNC bowl. We just added a ton of water. I'm just trying to see how the lather will do. We'll probably do another Noble Otter. The next day, but we did use the HCNC today. Speaking of HCNC, they did sponsor this video in a way. We're going to do a $15 gift card to HCNC, um, Pete Hendricks. Um, told me he wouldn't mind doing that. Two $15 gift cards a month, I believe. We don't know how long. He didn't give me a time frame, but we're at least going to do it this month. So... One is up for giveaway from this episode, video, whatever the hell you want to call it. We are using my El Druida. Really love this brush. Um, it's whatever badger knot he puts in there. I don't know. I'm not into the badger. What's going on? What's in style? What's in vogue? It's just not my thing. So do forgive me for not giving you that information. But this scent really nice digging it i kind of want the aftershave for it we'll work on it i'm glad i've got the actual soap and not just a sample Whew, straight razor august guys and don't worry i'll tell you how to enter that giveaway we're not doing it just yet you got to hang around just a little bit longer we are using the core app 14 2.0 this is pretty much a artisan made if you want to call him an artisan, I consider him an artisan. We're not going to get into that. This is a modern-day replica of a Phil, Philly 14 or a Philharmonica 14. People like to call it a Philly 14. Plenty of slickness with no water. Great base. We don't even have to talk about it. Scent strength, easily medium, much stronger once I lathered it up. Actually, it started kicking really hard. when. So what I like to do is... Put a little bit of hot water in the bowl and then fill the mug with hot water and then soak the brush for a minute or two and dump it but as soon as i put hot water on this soap it was banging we did strop this puppy up we used linen I do five laps on linen lately. That's just my start. Um, I did five laps on linen. I did 40 laps on horse hide. I did 20 laps on um, English bridal after that. And then I did 10 on the rue. Just for shits and giggles today. It's not normally how I do things, but it's how I chose to do it today. And that's okay, right? We can. It's my shave, do it my way. Sometimes we can switch it up. Ooh. Definitely could have used a little bit more hydration, but that's okay. It's still working well. There we go. We'll add a little bit more water for the uh, second pass. These scales feel a little tighter when I pull them out, and I'm wondering if the last time when I got some lather down in there, if I caused some rust to start going on. 
because it's not as smooth of an open as it used to be. That ticks me off. That's an expensive razor to have rust building up down at the hinge pin. And the upside to a razor like this. This is the reason I chose to buy this razor. This razor probably cost under, I don't know how much under, but it definitely under a mint condition Philharmonica 14. So that, that's what you have to consider. And then that mint condition, Philharmonica 14, probably isn't as truly mint as you want it to be. And what if you do get one that's new old stock? You luck into that thing, and then it turns out the geometry on it sucks, and you paid like $4.50 for it, which is much more than this razor was. Get what I'm saying, guys? Like, from what I hear, this sits really nice on the stones. It looks really nice, other than the fact that it doesn't have the Phillies etching and logoing on it and scales and stuff. It shaves really nice. Looks the part. I enjoy it. I mean, it is is what it is, but I truly enjoy it. All right. We're going to put up Hal. You can enter the giveaway on the screen right now. I'm not going to say it verbally. And I'm not even going to tell you how long you have. And when I do the announcement video, we're uh, I'm not even going to say it's an announcement video. You're just going to have to watch along and see when I announce it. Um, that's just the way we're going to play the game, unfortunately. I like it. That way, I do get some views a little bit longer. It's the point. It's why we are doing giveaways. People bring it to the channel, have you watch the videos. Alright, really nice Bergamonte scent. Huh, so I felt hot on my back for a second there. I was like, is something on fire? Bergamot. Maybe not Bergamot, but lime, citrusy, the kinds of woodsy. Digging the scent. And like I said, opened up big time once you uh, added some hot water to it and then started lathering. It is a little thin, but I just kept adding water and water. And tomorrow the lather will probably look better because uh, I'll use a different brush I'm probably more familiar with. And I will have just gotten done using no blot or base again today which makes me more familiar with it next time I go to lather. And this time I just added a lot of water up front and just churned away until we got a decent lather. Until most of the bubbles went away. And then I still... kept adding water. And even though I said it was dry, it's coming off nicely now. It's a little on the toe. If you want to look, it didn't come off. It's just weird sometimes how it wants to be. And even though this is straight razor August, and I'm like, guys, learn to use a straight razor. If you watch other videos, I... I think that was already previously there. Anyways, I can't remember what I was saying now. Nice to, sorry I did lose train of thought there guys. Oh, I'm, I'm not the best. guy to be learning straight razor technique from. 
I don't have flawless shaves. I do try to have good shaves. Um, my problem is I don't have a routine where I'm going next with each stroke. A sequence of strokes that's very important. And I can be heavy handed at times. But if you can get that light touch, you will have some of the most comfortable shaves you will ever have with a straight razor. Because when I do have those light touch shaves, there's like zero irritation. When you're heavier than you should be, you're going to get irritation. But even with the DE, I can take light moves and then over shave and stuff. But with this one, I could do three passes if I got the technique and light touch down. Maybe I need to get better with my DEs as well, you know, if I'm saying something like that. But I feel like that machined edge, there's just a little bit more of a chance. Just a little bit more of a chance. Oh man, this is glorious. Awesome scent. So, I have been drinking Blind Pirate, if you watched the last video. And, uh, great beer. Y'all know the drill. We're going to rinse up. Instead of just rinsing up, I'm going to take a shower. We're going to get a shave. And then we'll be right back because I'm gonna I've got plenty of lather and we're gonna use it on a glorious head shave and I will be right back guys. All right guys, we are officially back. That was a great head shave, feeling silk, silk, silkety smooth. I'm gonna follow it up with some mal grooming. Chittenango Creek. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna get that right. Just don't listen to me. But it's kind of a piney outdoor scent. It's rainy today. It was rainy. That's when I'm shooting this video. Happy Monday to y'all. Oh, I did use Jack today because uh, Matt Fox spoke up and said, hey, that one sounds interesting. So next shave video I did was with Jack because it, it was requested. But Noble Otter Jack, guys, this really is a nice one. Oh, it, it's, it's really good. <laughs> um... I would recommend this one. Great base. Great scent strength on the tub or the soap. Really enjoy it. I would I would love to have the splash because I know the dry down on that splash is going to be so much more than what I get from the soap. But I do enjoy the soap enough that I would love to try that splash. But all right, guys. The Corap 14 2.0. Beautiful razor. Love this thing. I know I don't have to give it too much love because y'all see it quite a bit. We were using the El Druida. Kind of give it a... Brush the tips out. And it makes a much better, better lather than you saw me make today. I added a lot of water to it and we did the churn style, not the slow, you know, circles that I like to do when I'm normally making lather. Look at this. That's like... The little logo thing he tends to put on all this stuff. It's just a beautiful, beautiful brush. Um, I will link his shop, his Instagram, whatever it is, however you get his brushes. All of it will be linked below. Hope you have a wonderful Monday, wonderful start to the week, and I will catch you people later. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Oh, part of the rules. You do need to subscribe to win. <laughs> The gift card. I didn't say that up front. It's kind of a given in my opinion, but there is the disclaimer. If I run it and notice that you have not subscribed to my channel, you cannot win. All right, guys, I will catch you later. And like I said, hope you have a wonderful week and a wonderful Monday.